What's up, everybody? Welcome to Group 6, Game 1 of the World Cup. Got a fantastic group of players here. Uh, Lena Kitty, Cool Tim, Kuehl, Van Agarwal, and Mitch here playing a different Mitch. We got Lena Kitty had the wrong color, but we'll be okay with pink. Lena Kitty actually playing as pink here. Everyone did different colors. Everyone, so we'll try to get that updated as we go here. Not great on the color alignment. As you can see, we're playing Italy here. Cool. Try to get our get our colors updated for you guys. Uh, so this is just game one of the group. Remember, if you're new to World Cup scoring. The uh, winner will get 10 points, no other placement points awarded. And then, here, which is black. Yeah, it's purple and it was white. I think I got them all now. So 10 points for the winner. Uh, your first bounty is five points, your second bounty is one point, and then one point for each additional bounty. And quickly through the bonuses there, we'll go through them as we go. Um, again, Lena Kitty playing as pink, representing France. Cool Tim playing as orange, representing Northern Ireland. Oh, do we see? I think Lena Kitty signaling to Van to get out of her bonus there. And signals back. Should be good. They're going to work together there in that area. Okay, so we do see Van get to take his bonus. He gets out of the way of Lena's bonus. They're going to work together there in the middle. The bonus that Van just took is the Italian Islands. That's a plus two. Lena would get the plus six of the peninsula there. Be interesting uh, imbalance. Lena, a very aggressive player. Not surprising. Jewel would like the plus four up in southeastern France and would like everybody to get out. Leaves them up half out. Cool Tim working in the Adriatic coast. It's a plus three, but it's a split bonus, so it's pretty tricky to take. You have to get Mitch out of there. Okay, Lena Kitty gets the plus six in the middle of the board, leaves five guards everywhere in a dominant position. Gonna be tough to deal with. Van in the tough spot. He's going to be next to Lena. He's got an early bonus, but he's only got a plus two. So she's getting a plus six.
Jen works on exterior on the right side of the board, which is what you kind of have to do when you're stuck in the Italian islands here. You can get blocked off from the rest of the board very easily. Only bonuses so far, uh, Van and Lena. Mitch can't get fully out of Kuehl's way. Kuehl signals full 10 to get out of the bonus. This is a 70% progressive game. Oh, Kuehl is purple. Van is white. Okay, thank you for the heads up. Okay, so Kuehl and Lena are working together there. Van usually plays as purple, so turn me up. Nope. Yeah, I don't know, Trunk. It looks like that's what these guys decide to do. is going to get so far ahead in troop count with a dominant early position like this. Lena continues to kind of split guard, but building two territories a little bigger than the other two. All right, so Kuehl is purple. He's got his plus two bonus. He's had it since the start of the game. Has three small exterior positions on the right side. Mitch has been able to play a very defensive setup for different large stacks in different spots, including one tuck behind the blue. Hmm, Kiel goes for a second bonus. How does everyone react to that? Yeah. He also doesn't abandon his first bonus when he does it. Mitch takes a bonus. Kuehl's got a plus two and a plus three there, so he's got a plus five total gain. Mitch now has the Northern Ability plus five at the top. We're going to see the cool 10-4 get rolled, likely. Yeah. Can't get it out of there. Van takes his plus four in southeastern France. Cool 10 in the worst position for sure right now. Our Lena and Kuehl teammates. Yeah, they made a pretty early deal, uh, but Kuehl got the worst end of the deal.
Lita just working on her big exterior over on the right and continuing to split guard, leaving fives on two of the territories. Joel gets to hold both bonuses. He's only getting a plus five with both bonuses. But the break comes from Van breaking Mitch. Or no, he didn't break. No, he didn't break. Pull him at 25 troops. May have to even trade in early to stay alive. Then just a tough spot from the start. Yeah, he does do the early trade. Following the van early trade. Tries to tuck his stack in behind that blizzard. does go ahead and get his bonus. He gets the Adriatic Coast bonus um, here in turn five. Really low, late bonus take. That's a plus three he takes. But this lobby is like a uh, finals lobby here in game one for this group. Figure out if Lena's trying to line anybody up with that exterior stack. She blocks in a bunch of stacks with that move. Super aggressive play also moves off her guard. Lena may be thinking early bounty next turn. Turn six bounty would be really early. With an easy take, he's got a nice exterior position. Kills in a good position, too. The trunks thinking Lena's lining up Tim, and that's very possible. Mitch actually has kind of a nice little kill guard built in there, and a 25 stack outside to potentially clean something up if something falls through. Mitch representing Western Asia, Lena, France, Gulten, Northern Ireland, Kill Finland, and Vanagel in Austria. As a reminder, our next game up is Group 6, Game 2. So this group's Game 2 will be tomorrow uh, at 1700 UTC. We will see, uh, after a lot of them using their arguably best players in Game 1, uh, what kind of pressure they feel in Game 2 to get back.
we see the break from cool 10. Trying to prevent every troop he can from Lena to be able to put a kill on him. It does go for the cool 10 kill. As expected. Trying to figure out how the best double tap method here. This will weaken Lena quite a bit. And only getting the three cards. Lena goes ahead and picks some more of the board, maybe showing that she plans to make her 70 run off of this. Lena gets the kill on cool 10. I don't, I don't see the 70 run off of this, but I don't know what the extra attacking was for necessarily. There's too many stacks blocking, right? Oh, there it is. Is that a two on one for the win? Lena gets the 70% run. Gets all 15 points. See if we got any of these guys in here that want to talk a little post game. We got anybody in here that would like to talk with us? Uh, after game one, it'll be Lena Kitty. Lena Kitty at 15, everybody else at zero. France at 15, I guess I should say. Everybody else at zero. Uh, and a lot of people that will be feeling pressure going to the next one. Welcome, Kewl. How did uh, that go for you? <laughs> Just too good of a spawn for Lena, you think? And you, you kind of moved out of the way, Kewl. You kind of moved out of the way so she could take the bonus turn one. Mm hmm Him, why did you not break? Yeah, break Lena earlier. Okay. Okay. Yeah, there's logic there. Sure. Yeah, you didn't really have a line on any bonus, and even the Adriatic bonus was a tough line for you that you ended up taking. Lena, uh, is that how you expected it all to go? You just run over everybody? We just think she got a good spawn. Yeah. <laughs> Hope we did. Uh, so I don't knew that you weren't gonna break Lena, so that I also mean, affected my decision making. Yeah, but I, 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 like, know you. I wanted you to do it, you know. <laughs> like yeah, part of, you know, screen my own game over so it helps the rest of you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, of like, course. 
obviously. Theoretically, with the way the po- with the points are, that it's better for five players to get zero and only one to get yeah, actual I, points. I definitely get that one. For... Yeah, yeah. If you think makes you're sense. out early on, that makes sense to, to run that. Um, Lena, were you surprised they didn't break you? Uh, not fully surprised because it was a very expensive break. Yeah. And I thought, like, uh, it's more likely that people are going to uh, let me hold and try to get five points, then break me and get zero points, probably. Gotcha. Yeah, you had the five guards very early on. Yeah. But... First turn. Yeah. Lena, did you go for it because uh, because the Orange opened you, or were you just planning on doing it? I was hoping for Orange to do that. Mm. Are you uh, there? Oh my god. I also Obviously, mucked up the bonus uh, tick for if myself. If Orange didn't just, move just... and kept a stack here, I probably wouldn't have gone for it because it's too expensive. Like, I, I can't hit a 5 and a 4, like, let's say. You wouldn't but, have gone uh, for the kill or the 70? Oh, you mean the 70? The, uh, the kill and 70, I was going for it anyways. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But, like, yeah, Orange breaking me meant, yeah. But it was a 2v1 in the end, so... <laughs> yeah, it, it was extremely close. If I didn't get broken, it was not close at all. With the break, yeah. it's like six troops less. That's very expensive. And so it, it made it very close. Yeah. We had the 70 as well if you just failed it. Like, so if even 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 seven. without you going for it. Yeah. Kill yeah, I was glad you would go after. for it previous turn, actually. The, the, the turn before? Yeah. I, I didn't uh, use too much of my time thinking about it, but I was scared you could have a line somewhere. Because yeah. you were strong as well. Yeah, we were looking at it too, but... Um, yeah, well, I didn't see city line at least. Okay. There, there might have been one, but yeah. I, I, I don't know. I just didn't spend too much time looking. I, I made sure, mm. like, I was blocking some of your troops with my stacks, and to, to, to make sure, like, it's less likely. But yeah, it was hard. I don't, I'm not sure I really like that map for seventy, let alone aggressive. Five just, players. Just the way the way it usually goes is. One or two people get screwed over. Yeah, I've played it enough. Yeah, it's one or two players always get screwed over. I don't particularly like that because, like, you know, I'm I'm not gonna say I'm the best player in the world, but I didn't really get a chance to do anything. Yeah, I mean the the taking that center bonus is almost always a win on that map if you don't get uh, broken fast. Tim, I I think you could have played it differently, like on the first turn, well, if you didn't like, move out of my bonus and put a stack here. Again, that... I get, I, like again, my thinking is then. I mean, Kiel just took the right, so is either one of you two are going to spiral? All that matters to me is that only one person gets points. Okay. I, so I, anyway, I, anyway, I look at it. So I'm, I'm the one who gets killed for the seventy. Yeah, but I, I meant on the very first turn. Right? No, I, yeah, I know that, but just looking at Kiel spawn as well. I wasn't just looking at you. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, if I don't get the middle bonus, I don't give the plus two to QL. And then it's probably going to well, be a no-bonus game for uh, everyone. That's what I mean. Like, but then, again, it's only Kiel probably... Kiel also had strong guards on his post bits of his uh, bonus. Um, you, go, like, you were going to hit a six? If it was we not like a six and a five. It. it was a six and a six on first yeah, turn. Yeah, six and six. Yeah, but I mean, before the first, before your first turn, yeah, before the first I was turn. playing, and I made it a one for you to hit. So I gave you the bonus. Uh, yeah, I was going to hit a two either way. Yeah, but know? it wasn't going to be a two if I didn't have the bonus. I could have reinforced in. That's what I'm uh, saying. You reinforce in. Yeah, if I don't get the middle bonus, I have right. no reason to try to give you a bonus for free. That's what I mean. Yeah, yeah, but you don't know if you're going to be able to hold the bonus before you, like, take it. Yeah, I know. So I, I like. I don't. Now, the way I saw it logic, is one of yeah. one of you spiral. No matter who it is, I don't. Not, even if it's not Kiel and Lena, but someone in the lobby spirals. Someone goes for the bonus. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna. Everyone had lines on me. Like everybody. Yeah. <laughs> so I didn't. I'm the one who gets. Well, well. I didn't have lines on anyone. <laughs> no, honestly, I was gonna kill you, Cole too. Um, so that's I that's there's the point point right there. Yep. Um. <laughs> All that all that matters to me is that again, only one person got points. I knew I was gonna get killed into the seventy. Uh, like I was looking five turns ahead, seeing what happened if I move in and out. That's why it took so long in the first turn. Go like oh, okay. if I move like not that I was giving you the win, but that like 
my deci- what decision I would make would sort of decide who was going to spiral first. Not that I was showing fa- favoritism, but I sort of saw how my game was going to go, and it wasn't well. <laughs> I was surprised that Kewl was so open to moving out for Lena to take the plus two to give the plus six. It just no, but so... it's going to be tough to come back from. Like my plan was fair, to Kewl move it out. Yeah, I was I was almost as strong nice because I got my second cool. bonus. Uh-huh. No, but I, I had to move it out because I had to guard my own bonus. If I didn't move it out, then I would not have been able to hold my own. Yeah, but you oh, get... there's so much, there's so much. I just like to say there's so much jargon and other people's bonus. I didn't get mine like the fifth turn. White didn't get theirs like the fourth. Like there's too much trip con- congestion. So Kiel was really the only one that could have done anything mini- yeah, meaningful to Lena really before they got their bonus. Yeah, the piece that messed up Van's bonus was that blizz- both blizzards up top were kind of blocking everybody in from getting out of that bonus. So Van ends up with a really late bonus also up top. Yeah. But I didn't expect so many people to get bonuses, actually. Really? You thought it'd be less bonus? I just didn't expect the OP Italy spawn, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, like, it always happens. I just, I don't like those sentences at all, just for future. Yeah, I don't like sentences where it's a small map and some, one or two people who get screwed over. I don't think that's really tournament spirit. That's just, like, it's just like, oh, cool, the game's over in five minutes. That's interesting. Okay. It went exactly how everyone thought it would. I do think there are points to that, but I also think because you've got a group of, or a lobby full of like super good players, you guys are used to playing, uh, getting out of people's way, taking bonuses kind of situation. And I think you guys were almost too nice to Lena early, in my opinion. And that's more of a grandmaster way to play, I get it. But I think that's what, that's what causes some problems. Because on that map, if no one takes bonuses, you don't have that scenario. But but there was nothing that could have been done. I mean, Lena had uh, plus five, sorry, five troops on every single uh, yeah after territory that, there. After so after that, you're in trouble. But before that, Tim and Kuehl made it very easy to take the bonus, the center bonus. Reporting them for collaboration. Right. <laughs> Are you saying that you would not have taken your the bonus I took? Mitch, if I were personally? you, I wouldn't have traded. Oh no, for, for sure. Oh, no, I'm I talk I'm talking to like. Uh, Mitch, the owner. <laughs> You're good. Yeah. I, I wouldn't have yeah. traded the plus six for the plus two at that point, just knowing how much how no, of a position she would be in. But Not that you would I didn't. It. I didn't think Lena would be able to hold it. That's the thing. You didn't. Okay. Well, that makes more sense. If you didn't think Lena was actually going to hold it, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it just seemed That's like an interesting perspective. Hmm? Uh, who did you think would break me? Him. Oh, yeah, it was my, it was my swords of troops, yep. <laughs> Yeah, with all my 50 troops, you know, I was really ready to break Lena. Every turn, I just had it lined up perfectly, yep. <laughs> I, was just, yep. I mean, you had a 10 v 5 on the first turn. I mean, the second turn. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Let me just sack my entire game. In the wild roll. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. To be fair, on my side, I, I expected either QL uh, breaks me or no one does. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I think that's what just happened in that game was it was just too easy to get that early bonus when, and I mean, we're all used to playing that way in tournaments where you kind of work work out of people's bonuses and give them to them, but on that map, I think it really can pose you. Uh, uh, I, I just recognized from the first turn, just looking at my spawn, that I wasn't... Um, yeah, you were just in trouble. I didn't think you I was going to be in a position. I was screwed, so I, as I said again, you know, it was sort of my decision. Yeah. Who's going to spiral, and they just let people decide by the way the bonuses were handled. Sure. Because I knew but I wasn't winning, basically. Yeah. So. If I tried, uh, if I broke you, what would you have done? I, I'm not saying it would have been good for you, because I don't know what I would have done. <laughs> like, would you have uh, Stu said that to me? Like, you didn't have a good role to take to break me after that. Uh, I, I I don't know because like if you break me you do open a five anyways with the stack so I I do have like two fives open to you so well, unless you get a good roll nice. I I can I do have a good roll to break you. But, but yeah. I was I was able to I had five troops on the bottom right and then I had a four yeah. stack 
So if I add to the five on the bottom right, I hit your five, the most southern one, and then I can fortify the four, which is outside of my bonus, to the top oh, right. Oh, you had a four that you could fortify Yeah, okay. so I would have had a nine stack on the left side and two stacks on the right side. Like, what would you have done then? That's the thing. I don't know how much you would have gotten on the right side. And if, if I can't break you, I probably don't break you. Because, yeah, I can't. Just a plus but, two, uh, so not the end of the world. I don't know. To, to be honest, like, I, I legit don't know. I was just like, I really hoping everyone doesn't break me and I didn't think too much what I would do if someone broke me. I think it's in your uh -huh. best interest, Lena, to say you would have suicided into him immediately to scare future people well, from doing that. I don't always suicide immediately. <laughs> I, I mean, uh, people who saw the FFA games know that I do not take <laughs> being bullied out of a position lightly either, but I don't go full on suicide into people. Like, well, for no no, reason. I just say, I would call your, no harm, but I just call your bluff at that point because it was a tournament game and not a play sure. with friends. Sure. Yeah, but you did call her bluff and look where that got us. Yeah, like, well, uh, what yeah. you mean, call her? I didn't call her bluff in that game. Oh. Mm. Uh, I mean, when you when you yeah, calling I, I, I her, calling her bluff would be like. If I have a break, like a retaliation break, I probably do it, especially after I gifted you the uh, bonus on turn one. But yeah, I, I, like it depends on the exact ball situation, to be honest, and how many attacks we have. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I purple did really well when he took the uh, bonus on the bottom right. That was really well played. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I didn't like it because it, it just made yep. me me sort of weaker. But as yeah, I understand but... why. <laughs> and it is not good Obviously. enough. I feel I feel win. bad for Tim because he got he got the worst end of the stick out for of sure. everyone. Well, I I sort of I de I decide you know I put myself on the stake on the first turn, <laughs> decided which player was going to burn me alive, and then just <laughs> let the minutes let the minutes go as I slowly dissolve in the fire. So that's basically what happens. <laughs> Sounds awesome. Art. Yo, at least I got to like sort my own death out. Okay, I'm I'm happy enough with that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Have Tim Stone all laid and ready for me. It's just good. Are any of you uh, the teams that got zero points nervous now moving forward? Since a lot of you played what seemingly oh, their top player in game one. No, not on the slice. My other two friends are going to get twenty points in each game. Okay, so, so it'll, it'll be fine. Your teammates. Okay. okay. Yeah. Oh, I, mean, I just got the short end of the stick, the so I, I drained out. I drained out the all the. Um, <laughs> I drained out all the bad luck from my team, so <laughs> I I can invest the, all that one game. Yep. I mean, it doesn't really matter that much how the seeding round goes. Goes so. Winning the group matters because you get a free. Pass, yeah, 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 of course. Of course. That, it, it doesn't matter a ton. You're right. Well, the, the free pass would help me just just simply because my, I've booked myself two weeks away in America. So <laughs> I'll be sort of out of the tournament for two weeks, and I'll only be slightly stressed watching from the sidelines yeah, as I'm unable to play rest. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm I'm very confident my team. I've got a good got a good lineup. Sure. You do have a good one, for sure. Fuel, you're not nervous at all, right? No. I mean, I'm quite easily able to like help. tell what to do, help you. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's true. What was your guys' decision making on playing in game one? Was it just time based, or what was your logic? Uh, like? The logic was that I think this was the one that uh, takes the most attack speed. Okay, gotcha. Just speed to be able to get the map. Yeah, I mean, for the 70, and yep. if you need to get bounces Makes sense. at the same time. Yep. Okay. Because Bra Brazil is a lot smaller as well. Yep. Yeah, Lena, what did you say? Uh, I said it was actually close on time on my turn. Yeah, it, it definitely was, yeah. Yep. But I mean, you did it quite slowly as well, so. Close on time and the two on one. Yeah, I'm two, it's a three on one. I mean, yeah, I like the. Was a bit of a fail. I, I like the odds for me. Like <laughs> we had the odds at that point to yeah. like. At that point, you win. did have the odds, yeah. Yeah, at that point, I did. But, <laughs> but yeah, I could have split a little bit better. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's tricky on the map, especially with the blizzard, to to path it out. Like at least 
I did at least two mistakes. One where I, where I just lost the troop for free. When I uh, when I was going for the orange kill, I put a four all together on the next territory when I should have put only three and kept the two because I was going to add troops here to take a, uh, one more territory on I the right. I'd also like to say, I think he did my kill the risky way, doing the 8 on 6, rather than just guaranteeing it, personally. I, I was a bit sad that you tried it on 4, by the way. <laughs> yeah. I know. It makes that's sense. I just saw it. I was, <laughs> as, that's, as I was saying, you know, I saw the fire coming. I just had to <laughs> pour a bucket of water all over it for a couple turns, just to make sure I was ready. Yeah. So, I, I couldn't give you your joy yet. And the brief you know, thing that was the you thought that gave me the best chance of her not killing you. Was that your yep. that's, that's basically like, yeah. she's going to try and kill me, she's probably going to get it, there. but if the dice if the dice don't work out, then I've got a small, small chance. Yep, yep. <laughs> makes sense. I mean, I don't and think I mean, no chance, because yeah, uh, uh, Kiel just kills me next turn, but you know, if I bring Lena down with me, even better. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you wanted to do that, you could have just suicided into Lena, you know? Yeah, but I'm not going to be a jag, like, come on. You, you couldn't just... really, because I was playing right after you. Well, no, I could. I go yeah, but I, I mean, it doesn't... Uh, but if well, he, if he knew that you would go for the kill, uh, then he could make it a lot harder. And he could take the advantage on the rolls by doing it yeah. himself, you know? What were you saying? Uh, I, I don't know. Suicide is just scummy. Just sure. fun point. But if it's the right play, then I don't know. Oh, I don't believe it ever is. At no point it I is the right play. Mm. It was team suicide. You can get zero right. points anyway. Yeah, I can imagine situations where it's the right play. Yeah, but here, like in this game, like if team suicides, team gets zero points. Like Yeah, but if I team knows that zero get points. zero points either way, <laughs> then the suicide move might be to play he wants to go for. Well, at that point, though, as I was saying, my entire strategy, then Lena doesn't end up getting, like, there's a chance Lena doesn't end up getting the 70, and then there's more points spread out, which hurts me even more. So, I drag all of you down with me, get wrecked. <laughs> <laughs> I guess for this anyway, strategy, it was Mitch. even better not to break me. To make sure I get the 15 points and everyone else no, gets zero. No, no, no. I had to like I had to give myself the one minus one percent chance he won't kill me. You know. Okay. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> maybe maybe I don't go for the kill. Oh, I you think know, I should. So, have you know, if you're now. drunk or something, you know, I just had to <laughs> do it just in case. Sure. Yeah, I think I should have broken Lena probably. You're like I know you're saying I could have done it, but that's just throwing my game in the bin, and it's already in the bin. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I think the only we're the only one, one who had a position. chance to do this without throwing their game totally away, no. depending on the role result. But obviously, Tim, if you, if you want to have a chance to win, don't you think you have to take the role? No, because Black can also kill me. There's too many people who can kill me. I was dead to anyone, pretty much. I got my bonus way too late. It didn't matter if Lena killed me, someone was going to kill me. So I just made it to where the points would go to one player only. Uh, well, I wasn't intending it to be. I was just, you know, free for all. Whoever gets to it first. Obviously, Lena has the best chance of getting it to it first because it's her turn, but... I just wanted to watch the world burn around me as I... <laughs> day. Um. I mean, I'm, I'm just... A, I'm slightly... Sorry, I just want to say, I'm just slightly bummed that I had no chance to actually do anything and just had to plan my own funeral, but I don't know, I don't like those settings because always, always someone's gets screwed up. And I know there's not idyllic play, but even in my position, I wasn't exactly spread out the best. And yeah. even if Lena didn't get their bonus, White was going to get their bonus, Black was going to get their bonus. I like... would definitely, definitely agree that you had a, a brutal spawn and tricky situation. I think the way it was played out made it to where you had no chance. But I don't. Uh, I, I was, Black could kill me before I even got to my next trade. That's the problem. If Lena didn't kill me, Black could. Yeah, you that's needed the... less of the uh, good neighbor Kuehl and Lena situation early on. That would have changed the game a lot for you. And maybe I, you know, I really didn't expect Kiel to let Lena hold it. I was so surprised. But. No, seeing them from previous tour tournaments, I sort of expected it, so I went into 
Okay, if Kiel and Lena are going to be friendly, this is what I have to do. Yeah, this, this is what type of firewood I used to know. This mm -hmm. is the type of firewood I have to use. <laughs> this is the exact time I have to burn. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> but that's also why we play three games in a round, so that hopefully your teammates <laughs> won't have the same bad luck in spawn. Well, that's what I'm saying. They're, they're going to get 20 points each, so I just sucked out all the bad luck for the team. Yeah. You know? 20 points is hard in 70%. What you say, Lena? Uh, like no, it's easy. It's actually Lena? not possible. <laughs> it is, if you get all the bounties. Possible. If... We are, we're only five players. Uh, right, if you get... You, you, you also, yeah, you can. Where is the right. sixth player, or is it just yeah. a five-player game? So it's a five -player game. Was, it just... Was it just a five-player game? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Eight. So 19 points. Yeah. <laughs> So anyway, it's, uh, GG everyone. Yeah, GG everybody. GG. Thanks guys. Good game, we'll see everyone. For, uh, Congratulations, Lena. Starting tomorrow. So. Yep. You guys. See All you right. then. Bye. See ya. All right, that's a wrap on Group Six Game Two. We've got, or sorry, Group Six Game One. We've got Group Six Game Two coming up tomorrow. Seventeen hundred UTC. We'll see uh, the teammates of these five players. Uh, France will go into it with fifteen points. Heading into the middle game for the group, uh, these were a lot of top players in the world and on their team. Um, so we'll see what the rest of their teams can do to get points. Uh, so we'll be back with you tomorrow. Till then, everybody, I'm Matt Mitch Andres, streaming live on Twitch, posting on YouTube. Until next time, may your dice be nice. See you guys.